We are back. We are in the Fedco zone. Well, of course, we're always in the Fedco zone. Yeah, we're always in the Fedco zone here Mondays. And no, but I mean, Fridays, we're just always in the Fedco We're going to do our little Friday high school previews. That's right. Yeah. A couple you weeks. You do those in the around. afternoon with, uh, with uh, Dan? Yeah, I think 4 o'clock, Mr. Barker, yeah. on Fridays. Two with Orm. Oh. oh. What time again are we doing it? Two. Two o'clock. Two okay. o'clock. On Every That's Friday. why we've changed it this year. Last, so, so, so set your, set your listening priorities because uh, it's different than last year. This year it's two, right? We're going two o'clock Friday. We're going to preview think, all the action. If I'm not, all the skylights action that I'll be at cheerleaders, you know, drop, drop, dropping out of helicopters right. with clowns. Right, right. So you have to say that in the air is so funny at children. <laughs> I'll be dropping out of helicopters and there'll be ten clowns that'll catch me on one of no, those for, things that well, you, we've talked about this before. Yeah. But just for people who, yeah. who aren't aware, John was at Channel Eleven and I was at KDK, and John used to do all these crazy things at the games uh, with you know insane stuff yeah, in the nineties. Yeah, it was yeah. it, it was out of control. So. I started a routine on our 5 o'clock news. I'd say, uh, I'll be going to the Mount Lebanon Upper <laughs> St. Clair game, and I'm going to be parachuting out of a, <laughs> you know, onto the 50-yard right. line out of a fighter jet. I'm going to be ejected. Now, back you in know, those I, days, I, I, John, Channel 2 actually covered high school football. Yeah. I think they've pretty much no, given yeah. up. Yeah. It's minimal. I know that. I'm not saying yeah. that to rip yeah. them. That's what yeah. it's minimal. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but now, I, I would come now. up with that. So, and then I started putting pressure on myself because now I had to, <laughs> every Friday, I had to come up. I will be riding oh. in on an elephant, so be sure to be. <laughs> there <laughs> it's something different every week oh that was, but you did ride in on oh, an elephant, I think, that was that, no i did that was in, the height of insanity was the 90s yeah now did you in those days did you uh my, i tell you what i had the pressure on me i went through a couple of years of doing um picking games i don't think you were here yet i did uh college football predictions with bino cook and mm -hmm. i started out the news director said, I want to do something different. I just don't want to have Bino sitting in a chair saying Pitt's going to beat Penn State. Uh, so I started – I created these uh, – first scenario was I was riding in an L, in a, on the incline. Mm -hmm. I took him to the incline. I said – and this was the extent of the whole bit. I just said, Bino, who do you think – who are you inclined to think is going to win this week? And he'd do his picks. Now, it. So we had a nice visual for TV of us riding in the incline. <laughs> Well, then it kept escalating. Till then, he's in wearing costumes, and you know we got <laughs> eight people involved in the skit, and I was producing and directing it. And it, each week, everybody was saying, "Oh, that was great! You got to keep doing those." And now you have the pressure of top. You know, you, you've you've right. uh, you've raised the bar from the incline to you know a, right. a, a, a big production. So I know what that's like. Once well, you get, once you get into it, now they're expecting oh, was, more and more. Oh, I was doing stuff with uh, Jimmy Cren and. Um, um, Paulson, 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 yeah. and Cren. We we were doing skits every year. Like we would do three or four together. It was insane. at a high school game. No, no, we would do these skits that would take that would be elaborate like productions. It yeah. would take us all day to shoot, and then I would do like a four part series that would run during Skylights. It was yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the stuff we were doing. We should do. I should. I've always said I want to do it one more, a couple yeah. more times. It took a lot of work. John. Yeah, it took and a then, lot and of work. You know, you I don't know, work full time anymore. It took no, a lot of work. It's hard to get the commitment now from the station oh, from the, to give and the, the photographer. Yeah, oh, yeah. It took a lot of work. A lot of work. But of, uh, it was crazy stuff. I had Freddie Fu on. But the high schools start today. I, thought this, I, was, I wasn't going to start with this, but I yeah. may as well because uh, high school football is a big deal. And yes, it's huge. Um, and I think uh, I, I saw some of the – have you seen some of the ads running during the football games about heads up? Uh, football and it says make sure your coach is heads up certified. The NFL is really pushing head uh, – you know – Safety, yeah, and um, that's going to be an issue. So, you had said that at the media day, mm -hmm. you thought just from a, an unscientific poll of the coaches who were there, you got the impression that enrollment in, in football is up. If anything, I think it's unaffected in this area. Yeah, in in, in Western Pennsylvania. So I, you didn't hear any coaches say, "Man, I'm having trouble getting kids coming out." No, I don't think it's a problem at all anywhere. It's not because of concussions. Yeah. No, I I, I think football is it's such. A glamour sport in Western Pennsylvania, and it's not even close. I mean, the other boys' sports, you know, even when you think about hockey, which has gotten huge yeah. here in lacrosse, which yeah. has gotten huge, you got to put them that in yeah. the picture. And of course, baseball and basketball. Basketball would be the second, but it's a far second. Yeah, it's, it's distant second. The glamour sports and the fact that you're a star when you're actually a 15, 16, and 17 year old draw still draws me and watched young by athletes. thousands of people, yeah. thousands of people. And yeah, that's true, thousands. So um, it, it, it no, uh, we, our our numbers uh, at Vincentian, where I'm the president, are enormous for a single A school. We're thirty, and that's a good number for mm -hmm. for a single A school. And I think the only ones that are struggling are some of these 
Kauai schools like North Hills, where the actual student population has dramatically gone down. Those are the ones that are struggling a little bit. We'll have a North Hills where they'll have like 65 kids. You'll have Avonworth right down the road. A single-A school has 85 kids. Or what, 85? Well, well, I may be exaggerating there, but they've got at least 65. Avonworth has, I would go out on a limb and say, Avonworth is single AA a- a- as as many as North Hills and Quaddy. Wow. I'm really serious. That's about a that. statement. That, that's a nut. That, that's now, what, what, that, is, that is because the enrollment in North Hills has come back. Yes, well, because it's well, come what, way down. Doesn't the classification take care of that? Yeah, it should, but I just think the popularity of football at Avonworth has really gone crazy. It's now a, f- a football school and a good yeah. one. And um, I don't know what's going on at North Hills. I couldn't tell you, but I know that the numbers, you know, are, they, have a, they, have, they, they, they have some number situations there with their football team. Um, Pine Richland was the same for a while. I don't know what Pine Richland's numbers are this year. Uh, when they went to Quad A, they were yeah. enormous when they were AAA. But you got enormous numbers in North Allegheny, enormous at Central Catholic, enormous at Seneca Valley. And, you know, there's some Woodland Hills, enormous. Um, not, I'm not seeing anything at all to even have an inkling that concussions are causing kids not to play football yet. Not even inkling. Not around here. Yeah. Not in this area. It's not, I, in fact, it's, I can tell you confidently it's not happening. Yeah, and uh, and this it's interesting because a lot you hear a lot of football players, ex football players, saying that they don't want their sons playing. I've seen guys on ESPN say it. I mean, former NFL players. Mm-hmm. Oh no, my son's going to play golf, or you know, he's um, Gretzky's play. son played football, but then he ended up being drafted as a baseball player. Yeah, but he's a hockey player. What am I talking yeah. about? But Montana's kid played quarterback. He played football. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there's still a lot of them doing it. But there's, I think you hear more now of the of these guys, the, the former well, players saying, eh, you, you know, know what? what? Chris Hoke's got a couple of kids that are good athletes and they're playing football. Are they in Avonworth? Chris Hoke, and he's a defensive lineman, yeah. and Hoke would know about the dangers of football. So I don't know. You well, hear my son, in, my son-in-law played. IUP and a couple of years with the Eagles, and he he's uh, my grandson is twelve. He starts next week playing football, seventh grade. I wouldn't have a, my, I have two sons now. They're in high school. I wouldn't have a problem with them playing it. They're more basketball, baseball. I wouldn't have a problem yeah. with them playing it. I would be more concerned about the knee injuries and concussions. That'd be what well, I'd be way it, more concerned it, about. That might affect their ability to play baseball. baseball yeah. Right. Yeah. So I, I, I'm more concerned about the knees and the concussions. I, I, as a parent, I'm not concerned in iota about concussions in football. Well, do you think? Do you agree with some of the things they're doing in practice? Absolutely. Less, less and that's why they, I, think, I think it's I think it's great that we, everyone's become aware of it. There's no question they're teaching tac, tac, uh, tackling techniques that are geared towards less concussions and the equipment. It's gotten way, way better. 